Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We're going to be seeing Team Leftovers up against Torpedo Gaming. Both these teams just coming off the back of a loss to Pantera and looking to establish themselves with some more wins. Uh, no surprise. Uh, Pantera, world champions, 27-1 mm -hmm. in the fall split. Uh, leftovers for me, uh, very impressive. I, I really like kind of their play. I liked watching them in relegations. Individually, I think uh, the players need work but if, if i think i all. think team fight wise like the thought processes it's all there to be a top contender in europe yeah and the big thing is they defeated hungry for more already did leftovers put themselves in good stead they look good in the performances against pantera as well torpedo gave on the other hand we can pick some bands. That's the biggest point I want to make out there. That's I've said it a couple of times now, but we can pick some bands. They kind of hurt them. They ran, what I want to say is jank in the solo lane for the most part. They played for individual lane pressure and not necessarily for team comps. Uh, let's actually get into the picks and bands and see how Torpedo looks to go uh, this time. And yeah, Game Hunter, he's kind of the big big one to talk about for Torpedo. What What's his going to be his style? Actually, Zen or not Zender, excuse me. Um, Zimstar. Recently, uh, former Paradigm owner uh, released an article recently uh, about Game Hunter and kind of how, as his god pool had to shift with the meta, he started playing gods that he didn't enjoy. And I think Torpedo, they're trying to pick gods that Game Hunter enjoys, enjoys playing, playing. Uh, also that he's very confident on, because when his god pool is out of the meta, he still wants to play his god pool. Very, very true. Chrono's going to be taken away by Leftovers. That's not a surprise that Torpedo will look for Game Hunter to potentially get that in the solo lane. Will run it in mid lane as well. Less likely to really see Moe in it as much, but he will, if he has to, Capri banned away by the leftovers here. How have you got this game going anyway, Kevin? I'm, I've gone 1-1 one, one here. Uh, I think I, I went 1-1 as well. I expect to split. I sure think individually, you know. Torpedo are better players. I think leftovers, um, very good teamwork. Uh, Cherio, honestly, going to be the big one for me. How he performs, I think, when he goes off, uh, leftovers can really pressure a game. And you can already see him getting, to be fair, Giannis is Three a majors. good ban in general, but this is also a target ban at... Three majors just take it away, but leftovers, well, they've looked towards Raw in the past as one of their options with the Raw and Nijar combo being available to them. Leftovers aren't scared to look towards that if they want to. They will go with Neath, first of all, so can play in the mid lane, can play in the duo. And, well, on the other occasion, it is a you who makes him in the solo. I don't feel like this is Cherio's god pool, like the, the Neath. Neath. I feel like that's going to Arco, almost guaranteed. Some teams, I can see it switched up, but I don't think we were really going to see him play that. He could, though. I could be completely wrong. Uh, well, Soul going to be picked up for Torpedo, and on her going to uh, a little guy I'd like to call uh, Moex. You, you could expect that. It's my first solo. time casting him in a long time. I know, right? Because Ooh. he's not been around. I know. Why has he not been around, I don't Because he fed. Myrmidons and got, you, you go gold, got eliminated out of the SPL. Do you, no. go you don't? No. That's really? not clear. That doesn't help kill. You do. It does twenty five. For those, you, you think I'm. See, so you think I'm joking. That does not help him kill other people. For, it helps him clear. For those that don't he know, he would have to be convinced. Let me let me explain. For those that don't know, the reason I say this is because Moex, during the Challenger Cup early on last year, was taking Golden Bow back really? to the Devourer's Gauntlet's man because he felt like the if RNG he, crit. If he could get an RNG oh crit in the lane, he could win the lane. I love Moex. So I wouldn't be surprised. So I talked about that. I talked about that last game with yeah. Artemis because we were talking about the recent buff to Golden Bow and kind of seeing who would play it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, the thing it could work well with Artemis as well you know you already have the rng crit it's like if you get two crits in a row you essentially win lane like mm -hmm. you just have so much pressure and they risk dying uh well left of us gonna who gonna rate raijin still even though it's still Roll the dice boys still not won a game in the pro league to be fair though two players that have played it well one in europe pretty prime has played a very good raijin so far Cherio as well and hurry wind has Cher I think Cherio played a really good I think one it was okay. against Panther. The problem was that uh, the team comp wasn't really designed to set up, to set up for him. Set up and, defend. and he actually defend. had the most damage in the game, even on the losing side with Raijin. Still, clearly, very risky to run. Final bans coming through. Sobek taken away from Badger. He's run that quite a bit already this season. And against the Geb, he'll be quite happy to do it again. So taking that one away from him will limit his options here. The Nijar once again in the jungle for leftovers there. They like to go for the strategy of Nijar for setup more than anything else. Uh, yeah, and Fails very comfortable on that god. Right-hand side of Wheel, it's picked up. They do have the Geb uh, to combo that with, so... Uh, we're going to be seeing Ninja Bobat in the jungle trying to make some uh, big plays with his support murder. They have Geb to combo with that Willy Shriv, but also Neef well. can backflip. So you can take that one away. As well as Raijin's crash. His thunder crash is actually classed as a leap. Oh. So you can catch him, but he's a very short animation. It's doable, though. Oh, I didn't know that. Confirm that in patch notes. See? That'll be watch, interesting. She'll watch him with us. Those patch notes I'm, things. I'm spamming You'll faces in chat. All right, okay. We are, or, uh, Smork, we are Smike, or High Res TV Smork.
AOS TV. Spam. You just got I, small spam. Don't I, mess, I know that was the point. Uh, Robin, Robin Guan Yu. So uh, Frontliners about for leftovers in their final two picks. It's going to be a Guan Yu support and a Robin solo, more than likely, unless we see any uh, crazy shenanigans. We've seen Guan Yu support a couple times. Well, uh, too effective. It will be Robin solo for sure. I mean, we've seen we've actually seen that goat for Nico twice already in the Pro League at the four games he's played. So he's going to run that one back once again. And actually picking the Robin before he doesn't he knows what he's up against in this lane could be detrimental. I mean, he can't counterpick, so speaking of the counterpick, it's going to be Osiris, uh, one of the warriors who really controls the lane very effectively. Well, it's actually really funny, because that's what Raven's strength is here, right? Is that early game, he puts poke pressure on and tries to get a lead in the early stages. Mid game, he's kind of still there, but late game, he's going to fall off. Osiris is going to be good all game long. Apart from, to be fair, his late game, he can struggle in team fights and trying to get on targets he wants to, unless he's got those slows, obviously. Uh, you were right. Mo <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling I was calling it. Picking up uh, Golden Bow so, here, <laughs> looking for the crits. Already we saw Taraxi really today pick up Golden Bow and Ho Yi. Now there's been a lot of talk about Golden Bow being great for wave clear. However, on gods that have great wave clear in built in their kit, such as Ricochet, such as Impale, you wouldn't necessarily expect this. However, what this does mean is that you're not wasting mana on wave clear. You can just use your auto, save your Impales for defense or offense only. Same with the Ricochet. So it could be beneficial, especially if you get a random crit as well. In the fight, RNG man, roll the RNG. dice, roll RNG. the dice. You He's get two, it hard. you get two in a row. You win land. You get three in a row. Moex is jumping in and gonna kill you. That's that's how it works. Well, wards placed pretty down low. only by leftovers at the moment. Two very deep wards. One defensive on the right hand side to just keep an eye on those right hand harpies and see if they get taken at the beginning, which they're not actually gonna do. Surprisingly enough, a Wheelix and a Cyrus not gonna abuse the fact they've got a great early game. Look at how fast this clear is coming up from Moex. Already soloing the camp in uh, just like five seconds. Oh no, he reset. He reset Moex, it. please. Moex, please. Moex is all right, he got it. He got it. Right Golden, now, Chad is no raging RNG. because I did No that. RNG. That was what it was. Oh, man. He, he wanted to make it easy for Neef, well, right? I mean, wave play should be great uh, early on, at least. But it's against the Neef and Neef with, you know, the Spirit Arrow not really going to need Golden Bow. But maybe it'll become core for everybody. Jungler going aggressive. I think uh, the Universal poke. Ring Toss is down. They're going to control these left side Harpies. They also have double wards over on the right-hand side, so they could look to go for that. Left hand, it's... Uh, Moex and Murder combining to get control of this lane. And honestly, I think this Golden Bow was the biggest reason for that. It's just like, it's so powerful early You're on against now. Guan Neef, right? Guan Neef in lane and phase, you're not going to win that as Geb and her in terms of wave play unless you do something special. Geb has the Shockwave, but the Golden Bow and Impale together is going to bring down that wave very, very quickly and allow them to get pressure on him. Badge is getting very low, has to pop a health potion yet again. He has meditation. He does have med as well. But basically, we should see Torpedo. Just be careful of that a little bit, because they may end up getting baited into an awkward spot. I can see Moex jumping in. I don't think we'll see that now. I want to actually. I, 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 I really want to see how Moex plays because that was his biggest strength and his biggest weakness last year. I actually want to see Arkel to sit in the wave. Hang on, mid lane damage is out on Rintos. to Boba, and he's gonna have to leap away. Gonna get some damage back from Carino there. Good knock up as well. Cherio takes a lot of poke there from that, and in the end, the trade goes relatively even. But however, jungler does have the jungler, I should say, the jungler for. Um, Torpedo does have bombers, so he'll be able to heal up. I, That's going to be so confusing. I hate fails. <laughs> I hate you. Why did that you pick this so name? Much. He can't even change it anymore. Back to your lane, though. What I want to see out of Arkel, actually, he's standing in his minion wave because he's got bluestone, and the Golden Bow will proc the minions to give aggro to Moex every single time he tries to hit the minions. So, And he's got sustain. He's got double sustain with Neath as well. It's a little bit risky, though, right? Because now you're taking guaranteed poke. You're forcing yourself to have to use the heal more often, oh, which you means you're burning mana. But Although you've got she, does, she does have all that. It's still, it's a little bit risky. You've got conviction. You've got bluestone for damage back in response to dot him in response. And you end up winning the trades overall because It's of very it. risky to guarantee take damage, especially early on. It's just not worth the risk a lot of times. Obviously, if you can intercept the impale, very effective. That's more effective mm. than sitting there to take the golden bow and force the aggro. Left-hand side, though, Invasion. leftovers, they're going to be invading. And I like this. They had the pressure in both the middle uh, and left-hand side. This is a free, uncontested invade. You can see level five coming out from the leftovers duo. Still level four on the side of Torpedo. And that's not too bad. They this, do have this should be a lane freeze now. Lane freeze should come out from leftovers here. They could just force Geb and Anhead to sit there at level four for a little while while the minions kill each other. Not the option they're going for, though. Arkham's going to go for the hard clear for the most part. Nika up against Game Hunter here. A little bit of pressure onto Nika here, who's using the minions to try and avoid as much damage for his overhead to come up and ends up having to all worried about the potential 
all in from Game Hunter that was on the table. You can see Game Hunter very low mana. Bow in the mid lane. It looks like the combo looking for it. Oh, but the Corporeo oh. form is in time. Corinio trying to get the knockup, trying to keep the distance, but Jungler plucked it to the tower. Ninja Bobat on one health. Badger with wow. the save of Conviction coming out with a big heal for Jungler to keep him alive. Nobody dies still. Arkill invading the red buff now. Going to get support from Badger and Cherio. Moex has to ult if he wants to defend it. He does ult. Does he get it? That's the question. Nope. nope. He does not. Gets a good poke damage on, forcing them back. Moex thinking about chasing here. He's got murder in support murder now as well. Blink. Oh, but putting combat. Not going to be able to find anything there. And they'll lose the left hand harpies here as well. So. So far, so good for the leftovers on this early invasion that they've managed to pull off. Get the red buff, get the balls. The fight in mid was good, but Disapparate just was up at the right time. The worst part about all that for Torpedo is the fact that leftovers dual lane rotated and got a lot, right? Not only did they steal the buff, but they also were able to successfully uh, get the mid camps. And in the meantime, Moex tried to counter, which means he wasn't sitting there trying to get that solo lane farm. So even Ooh. though... Response from Torpedo, looking to invade the red, but leftovers know it, and they actually just use meditation there to give themselves all mana Murder. and health, and Badger's gonna charge in with the horse, looking for the stun, gonna land it on Murder. Murder will fall down his first blood to the other support Badger. Murder could have looked to use Cataclysm there to immune off the stun from the Guan Yu horse, but really not worth it, considering he was basically guaranteed dead. There was no one to get him out. He more than likely wouldn't have been able to turn it around. Onto Guan Yu, who was full health, uh, no meditation up, but still, he was guaranteed dead. I like the decision to hold the alt there, not try and risk getting out because you're essentially not getting out. No one was there to support him. Bit of a difference in builds, though, coming out from the two Hunters of Ataraxia and Moex. Moex actually gone for the full golden bow as his first major item. It's only an additional thousand gold, so invested into that straight away. Higher crit also going to be uh, allowing you to save your mana even more. Uh, just destroying these waves. Also very good against the camps as well. We could see it even at level one, uh, able to just kind of uh, spam auto and finish off those back harpies in just a couple hits, except when he reset. And there's the aggressive Moex we know. He's going to jump forward, impale Arco back for actually the same amount of damage he uh, took in like three autos. Yeah, I don't think you really will that trade at all, Moex. I don't he has murder there. Oh, maybe though. I'll kill. Gonna go in and go. One hit. Murder should be able to finish this off unless game? he gets rooted, and I'm pretty sure it's down. Murder. Gonna find the last hit on Arco, and that was okay. a fantastic bait. So originally, I was like, I don't know what Moex was really thinking. He had murder in the wings. Murder didn't even use his shield then either, which was surprising. But the immediate, he was facing the wrong way, Moex. But the combination of those two is actually starting to hit form there. Badger being aggressed on in the jungle now by Torpedo. Mid lane, the jungler is there as well, looking potentially for something like the Gold Fury, but. Reinforcements are back in mid now, so it's going to be a little bit too little. Too no late. way they can go for the gold fear right now. Blink is down on murder, which means they can't kind of bait and look for a force to initiate. In addition, uh, Cherry on this Ryzen just could do way too much damage uh, if he's left unchecked and Nika's with really no one to really dive. Nick is really struggling in this lane here. He's been forced back again. There's a minion wave there. You can see Game Hunter recalling at the moment. No real level difference between the two, but the gold's starting to be a gap. And for a Raven early game not to be dominating the lane. I mean, he is against the Cyrus after all, but it's unfortunate you picked Raven and the Cyrus is just walking into you and not scared at all. And that's why you pick Osiris to dominate lane. Maybe not as effective as other... Uh you know, solo laters and warriors in the later, in the later stages, stages yeah. in the later stages, but he can be very effective uh, when up against certain characters. One of those characters, Naja, the other character, Neat. Oh, oh, Cyrus, a very good there. Murder was them. looking with the support Carino to focus down Arkill, but he's actually been turned onto them. The, the taunts. taunts were huge from the th damage from Cherio and his ultimate. Now Moex being aggressed on as well as the Will Weaver comes through. Clean up indeed for leftovers there. They're going to be able to strip some more of the jungle or even look for the Gold Fury after three members die. Really good combination coming out from leftovers. More importantly, uh, the Drums of War, Tycho Drums from Cherio, electing to use the second form of them, which is actually taunting players. It's a little bit less damage, but it doesn't matter. It CCs them. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of DR, not anything worth noting. And two players picked up from just that. And then they're able to find the third. And now a gold theory leftovers in full control of this game. 2,200 in the lead. 2,200 in the lead. You saw Jungle in the mid lane there as a Nija looking for the sash onto Ninja Boat. Didn't manage to find it, though. And they're just trying to sweep up as much of the jungle as they can at the moment. Osiris, though, on the right side. Game Hunter has absolutely destroyed that tower already. Seven, just under eight minutes in, and he's on his last legs already. And we saw that was really because Nico was forced to back multiple times, even when his teleport was down. And Game Hunter just repeatedly just putting in a little bit of poke every single time Nico backs, and it's just really close. One kill or one awkward timing again coming out from Nika, and that's guaranteed. Game Hunter actually, a little bit less here. experience. 
We see a difference Danica. in builds, however, though, between the two. We've got, looks like we may see a Midgardian come out from Game Hunter earlier, or Mystical. We'll see where that ends up going. I really want to know if that's Mystical. Respite of Valor coming out from Nika, though, in, in response. And you want that coming out from uh, your uh, Robin, excuse me. Uh, really good with cooldown reduction. Uh, spam your already low ability cooldowns uh, even more and uh, just kind of just be this nuisance in the back line. And that's the whole idea of both of these solo laners is that they're just a nuisance in the back line. Both have slows, both have uh, kind of this not guaranteed lockdown potential, but I'm going to whittle you away over five to ten seconds. And if you don't have any peel and you don't have any movement ability or any way to escape, I'm going to kill you. And they'll be on the opposite ends of the fight too. Both in the back line. They'll, they'll the never fight team. each other. They'll never see each other after out. the laning phase ends. But if someone can get a dominant performance in the, the laning phase, it will help them out. Talking about more about builds, though. Both the support players here looking for different options. I don't see a sovereignty for either of them, which we saw out of North America yesterday. We're seeing the same hide of the urchin. Oh, uh, we saw sovereignty from Emilzi in that last set oh, as well. Okay. Uh, so definitely likes the the health and now the bonus aura now providing thirty protections to his team. Well, it's Badger, actually very Badger. effective. 30 is a lot of protections, but Badger and Murder seems to be looking for themselves. Oh, there's a big ultimate onto Jungler who gets knocked up as well. Evaporated. Drums of walk out from Cherio, but he's in trouble too. He'll crash. Back to base. Big play coming out from a torpedo. Cool you can come. see that. Uh, not only does Geb start the fight, as it looks like the torpedo squad want to kind of push forward They're even more. It's going to be a tier one tower. I don't really think the leftovers can defend it. They're going to try though, and torpedo are going to respect them. They'll be looking for the jungle invades instead, but nothing available for them to steal. Maybe they can catch a player, but with uh, the blink down from murder, a lot of their initiation is not going to happen. And that's just what we saw though. Murder, going to blink over the wall. He finds jungler, stuns him, does a little bit of damage, then knocks him up and immediately Bobat pulls him out of position. And then even if jungler was able to ult away, Geb was right there waiting for him. Waiting for him indeed. Right inside you saw Nika manage to get back to the solo lane first. So Game Hunter is going to return, find some minions there. So he can actually go back to base here. Nika once again. Hit level 12 now. So second relics for the solo laners will be online shortly. Sprint. And it's going to be sprint for the Raven. And we'll see where Game Hunter goes with his build now. It is a Midgardian male and he's also going to pick up the curse. Uh, this makes sense, right? There's still four physicals, and while not all of them are trying to just auto attack you down uh, the entire game, it's still likely that you will see auto attacks. Cherio as well on this Raijin, his abilities based around his auto attack, so a very smart pickup. I do expect to see some more anti-attack speed picked up for Torpedo. Uh, Witchblade would be phenomenal. Talking about that, look at what Game Hunter is doing there. It looks like he could go for the Witchblade there. Perfect builds coming out. Uh, I don't know if he really needs it this early. He might need a Bulwark pretty soon so he can survive Ryzen damage, but at the very least, Witchblade is going to be needed against this team and is just so effective. There's four physical players. In addition to reducing their physical power, you can have physical protection yourself, and they're all going to have lower attack speed, and there's five that benefit off that. Much happier with Torpedo's lineup this time around. Stated previously that their picks and bans seem to let them down, but because they all just played for the laning phase and not as a team, well, this is a team comp together. Especially with the Awilish here, they've got plenty of knockups and abilities to cancel out. The team fight is very, very strong with the Sol and the Amber. Blink. Blink Cataclysm comes out, forcing the Purification and Crash out of Cherio in the mid lane to safety. Uh, they'll take the, the Purification for sure, just for a Blink. Uh, now, I mean, Cherio can just get dove in the back line by someone else, Mux more specifically. And that's the thing is that Hunters are actually very effective against Ryzen, we've seen. His, his model is uh, much wider than the typical mage, which means auto attacks are so much easier to hit onto him. And if Moex can just rotate there, find a stun and a couple autos, mm -hmm. Cherio is almost guaranteed dead. And one of the things that a lot of people have had to work out with Ryzen now is that he's a big dude on the map, but he's not a tanky dude like all the other mages no. that are big. Jean-Cui is an example. Bacchus is another one. This time, though, the this guy's squishy. They're just trying to force him out of position. There's the burst, the follow-up, not there. Uh, jungler actually going to be taking Ninja Bobat to the sky. Going to pull the further pressure with the Will Weaver coming through from Arkill. Will pick up the kill. You can see the Tello Assault shredding from Badger at the bottom. And Cherio actually managed to hit the last of his drums of war at the end there, I, too. I, I like the plan there coming out from Torpedo. What they were trying to do is Corinio uh, just finds the knock-up on Soul. Uh, or excuse me, the knock up onto Raijin and then immediately Ninja Bobat plucks him out of position. But the problem was uh, Jungler taking care and really bullying Ninja Bobat in the meantime and they're able to pick him off in a counter fight. Well, that Gulf here going the way leftovers as well as now Arkill gets that kill with the World Weaver across the map. He's got a nice little gold lead over Moex here and the build coming online for Arkill nicely. Chins should be being worked on here. Well, it's really nice it's gonna be lead. Chins actually over Assy, but he doesn't really need the Assy just because he's on that knee. And we've seen this sometimes, uh, players electing to forego 
lifesteal, even Ataraxia experimenting with it on gods that don't have self sustain just really like to have that damage online and, and rely on their positioning. Right-hand side, you can see uh, the warrior's going to be battling it out as a fight's breaking out mm -hmm. over on the left over that red buff. It is going to break out. Well, it is it, though. Sol's going to go in with a stellar burst and actually secure the buff for her team, so... Invasion fails for leftovers. Ball's going to be taken by Moex there as Badger does manage to get away from the danger of the knockup of the Owelix played by Ninja Boba. But over the right, you did see Game Hunter actually use that curse there. He was a little bit worried about Nika that he cursed, thinking he was going to get all in himself. Uh, the red buff actually not successfully stolen away, but Badger trying to force something. Carino will go into corporeal form, but the turnaround Just onto Bobat, who does manage to get Suku up in time and over the wall. Just getting on Suku before he got hit by that stun allowed him to get away from the danger. Otherwise, cast time probably would have seen him fall down there. Five to three is the scoreline. Gold, favor of leftovers here due to the elite. Thunder crash. Oh, is he going for it again? Disapparates out. World Weaver is not going to connect. However, Cherry pops his ult here as well. Gets some damage off onto Murder, but he was in his rollout. So he had immunity to be from being forced away. I think the idea from Chario there on that ult was to just dissuade Murder from diving any deeper than he planned to. It really looked like Geb wanted to force something. At the very least, he actually put on, puts puts him in combat. If he's not in combat, you could actually see Murder cancel the rollout, blink forward Cataclysm, and then Chario is as good as dead if that goes off. I think we're looking at something like 16 pixel bans for Raijin and still no win. Yeah. He to this was point. the third most picked slash banned god, I think, in week one, mm -hmm. not counting the what we saw from yesterday and today. And zero wins to his name off of like eight games played, six yeah. games played. Six games, games like played. That. Six games played, I believe. So still struggling this week as well, it seems. He had a good performance from Hollywood for Saw. However, was it enough to find the win there? We saw it earlier on today as well, which Freddy Prime played it fantastically too. Didn't find the win. Cherio, he's now going to try his hand at it again. Maybe, just maybe, it'll get worked out eventually. Or he'll end up on the pile with Rat. With Rat? Well, no, Rat gets picked and banned, so get wins games. <laughs> That's true. That's what Devio says. Anyway. That's true. I mean, Rat at Oscar, more wins than Raijin. Just think about it like oh, that. Oh, crashing from Cherry. Looking for pressure onto Bobat. Shield comes out from Murder as he uses Suku to jump over the wall. Golf here, though, started up by leftovers now. They have war control, but Torpedo know about it. And Jungler's already going in to create a front line. He's going to throw out the Universal Ring Toss, just looking for poke, and it looks like Leftovers, they don't necessarily want to force the Gold Fury. They want to bait Torpedo into the pit. All five members here in a circle. Murder looking for the best time to blink, and there it is. Hunter. He finds four. He's round the back, beating down Arkill, forcing him out of the fight. Going to tether up two as well. Force Chariot to crash away. Frontside Badger is going you. in with the Cavalry Charge to zone them all back, though. The Thunder damage comes out from Chariot, but it's not enough from the drums to get a kill. Game Hunter ults defensively. Will Weaver hits Moex. Purification jumps over the wall. Everybody's still alive from both teams. Zero alts left available. Everything spent from both teams, but it's leftovers who have the health. Guan Yu, so effective. Meditation. Badger going to heal him up, and leftovers going to secure the second gold theory of the game. Have meditation and have a Guan Yu on your team. You're going to have a good time. You can see he just used it there. Got them all healed up. Once again, gold theory. Second time this game to leftovers, extending their gold lead. Fight was very good from both teams, though. I, I like the blinking for murder. Obviously, um, leftovers all grouped up. That was exactly what he needed to do. Ex immediately burns a couple of purification. Uh, leftovers forced to reset the fight. And then it's Badger just zoning out the uh, torpedo backline. They can't dive anyone. You could see Game Hunter was very deep into the leftovers carries, but he's managed. He's able to escape. And honestly, Cherio sounds the Tycho drums, the drums of war, to uh, and just ineffective uh, against only Game Hunter. To on top of the right, will fall down to Game Fine. Hunter. Game Hunter as well didn't actually go for the Witch Blade. Obviously, he went for the Winged Blade here to prevent the slows coming out from the enemy team, which is there's a few of to be fair. So he's going to allow it to get to the back line. It looks like he's going for Chittens next as I well. I do however. full damage, but well, mainly damage builder. I do want to see anti-attack speed from Torpedo. There's just every single god on leftovers benefits from it. Every single god. There is literally zero reason to only have a single Midgardian male. I would like to see at least a second Midgardian male and at least one Witchblade. Maybe two, right? Maybe one on Bobet, maybe one on Game Hunter. Both of them are getting a benefit off of that as well. We'll talk about foregoing lifesteal on Hunters we mentioned a little bit earlier on. Moex, no lifesteal for him yet either. Went straight for the chins, got him online now to go with the Golden Bow. So his sustain damage will be pretty good. He's just going to watch how much health he gets poked for. Sash comes out. They're straight into an ultimate. No response at all from Moex in time. Purification was down. Has a sanctuary, but Will Weaver's being channeled. Oh, the shield from Murder will save him. The leap is even better. But round the back comes the horsey. Very awkward uh, engage. Badger is able to finish Moex in the end. Badger knocked up Ninja Bobat. 
not going to pull the front line back into his team fight, but here comes Ooh. Murder, and there it is. He's going to look for Arco, who jumps away. Cherio's here, though. Drums of War, fine, too. Not enough damage to take anyone out, but Thunder Crash could be big. Game Three players going to sash up. four members of this team. Damage is reduced. Stun will hit Cherio. Nika's on his way, though, on this Raven, and Leftovers are looking to re-aggress now with Badger here with the conviction to heal them all up. They're looking towards Murder. He shields himself. Arkill going in deep. Curse from Game Hunter is going to zone them out. But Nika gets to the back and picks up Boba. These uh, warriors so effective right now. Game Hunter and Kenrinho, they're the only ones pushed up. Not going to be able to defend this tier one tower. Leftovers continue to extend their gold lead. Seven to three in kills. About uh, 5,000, 4,200, excuse me, on the board. Tier two, it's up. Four players now for Torpedo trying to defend the Guan. You're going to be able to heal up most of the team, but it's a little bit worrying. Actually, the ultimate just coming online for Jungler. They could look to pick someone off. Knock up from Murder. He's going to shield himself. Poking the back onto Carino. Crashing away. Goes Cherio back to the safety. And now they're going to disengage here. They don't want to take any more. I, I agree with this play. It's I like a good call. Uh, 13,000 damage for Sol Carino. On the losing end of this game, but very effective. Uh, stellar Burst, just so powerful once you get the damage online. You can see fully stacked Doomorb has penetration boots. Now Book of Thoth going to be working on that. On the other side, Cherio just full bought Obsidian Shard and already had Dynasty played home. Really good situation for Leftovers to be in right now. But like you said, Carino's done a lot of damage this game. And for me, it's credit to the Supernova placements. They've managed to hit a majority of them, which isn't one of the easiest. We, don't always, we very rarely actually see that happen. Well played supernovas. Yeah, we don't we don't really we don't see it for zoning or to try and steal an objective is the only time you ever really see it used very, very effectively or just to secure a kill. Uh, back to farming. We go Badger gonna combine with Jerio for the uh, left side harpies, back right blue is gonna be picked up by Nika. And I was talking about how Torpedo, I would really like to see some anti-attack speed. I'd also really like to see anti-attack speed on leftovers because you look over on Torpedo, right? Osiris, Soul, on her. Actually Three gods that are using attack speed more than anyone on leftovers, right? And then you also have Ninja Bobet as well uh, coming in. He's going to be doing a little bit of auto attacking, uh, although mostly ability damage. And I'm really surprised that we're just not seeing more anti attack speed from both these teams. Obviously, they may they they may be looking to find it more later to their builds, but leftovers has started it. They've got a. A frostbound, but... Cataclysm from Murder, knock up on Cherio, pulled in, purification, crashing God. the oh, way. Supernova out. was on point, but he'll live thanks to the conviction of Badger. Uh, this combo coming out from Bobat and Murder, very, very well thought out, unfortunately, though. Not able to secure uh, any any kills off of it. Murder's playing very aggressive, which is what I like. He's not scared to just blink Cataclysm every time it's available, looking for a potential opportunity, and then... On, he's sat in the front line for the most part, and Badger's whittling him down on the Teller Assault, having to shield himself, but good play from Murder overall. He may not see that way, but he's having a good game. Leftovers looking very good in their first couple weeks. I mean, considering they've Gold. took on Pantera, and the performance against Pantera wasn't that bad overall. They did lose those games, but they didn't look terrible in those performances. Gold tier going to be started up, though, by Leftovers. They have control of the pit, and you can see Jungler. He's on zone duty, but Torpedo, three-man group up. They're looking for something. Sash misses from Jungler, which allows Moex in and the rest of Torpedo. Gold Fury's getting very low. Gold Fury goes the way of leftovers. The th drums of war are sounding from Cherio. Looking for the pick. Oh, Big shield from Murder's going to keep him alive for now. But Boba's still under pressure. Going to get crashed in by Cherio for the kill. Eight to three. Murder trying to zone out the rest of the team. Teleport comes in from Game Hunter to defend the tier one tower mid. But he's alone. He was actually able to successfully split a tier two on the right hand side. Three players now for Torpedo. Badger dashes forward, gonna put out some damage from Talu as well the team. They're not too scared of it. Meditation to keep him healthy. Tier two yep. gonna be siege, but Moex, he's come back from the base. This could be a fight. Still trying to bring down the tier two time. Murder gonna get a good shock wave off to push them back. Supernova two, but a new minion wave is coming. Oh, a big group comes out from Arkill, and we'll see Game Hunter fall down. They're focusing now for Carino, who has to disapparate away. The tier two tower in mid will fall, and the work that we saw Game Hunter do for the one in the right-hand side has now gone as well as the Gold Fury. Two players line up. Both get rooted by Neath Arrow, and Game Hunter is the one who falls. Ultimate still available for him, but leftovers, I mean, they're they're looking real good. 8,000 gold off of that tier two. Gold Fury and tier one. A couple kills to their name as well. Excuse me, 7,000. I can math. Now about 7,500 experience. So we're going to go back and spend that gold now just to see where they end up investing that into now. Uh, it looks like Rudder to Hootie being worked on by Cherio on the Raijin. Some crit, more than likely a Deathbringer for Jungler potentially there. As well as, it looks like a late Igfal or a late Odysseus bow coming out here for Nika. 
probably going to be the Ick file. Um, there's three warriors, or excuse me, three uh, physicals that he wants to deal with. I'm going to be uh, sucking the uh, power out from them and giving him more power as he auto attacks. Now leftovers, really the only objective on the map for them to take is Fire Giant, although 20 to 20 four or five minutes, not really when you start. You start looking at that more at 26, 27 minutes, depending on when a gold fury is taken. They're just going to siege up this tier one, and honestly, no one from Torpedo even close to being in position. This should go no, uncontested. Not really at all. They could just tank this up, but I think they're worried about being engaged on from the jungle. They've got a ward to see Game Hunter there, but with the minions coming in, they'll just use the minions to bring down the tower. Badger will finish off tanking it and march on to the next one. Arco going to join his team for the tier two. Got the option in the jungle here because he Carino Ninja Bobat swinging around to defend. They've got to wait a little bit for this mini wave to get here. There you go, and now they can look to siege again. The team, though, just taking the safe route, looking for anyone in yeah, the jungle. You can see Torpedo. They do have a ward there on the right hand side. Cherio actually crashed onto Bobat there. That's why you saw them disappear from camera for a second. The wall placement from Torpedo will give him vision around that corner just to see who's still hanging around. And he's actually jungler over there on the knees. Yard game hunter. Gives him a bit of poke damage there, just says, hey, I know someone's waiting around the corner. Five-man group up, Murder, gonna find three. We've seen this story before. Bobat actually pulls Badger onto the tower, but he's gonna go up on the horse and look to turn it around. Jungler in the back line, looking for Murder. One more hit, he finds it. It's actually Nika to find that one. Jungler takes one to the sky. Game Hunter is trying to fight on the backside as Nika is still getting some damage off here. Bobat uses Sanctuary, still alive, but the Sash from Jungler will pick him up. Nika fell there too. Moex manages to clean up Jungler, and now it's gonna be a 3v2 as Game Hunter fell, keeping the damage dealers away. Uh, sloppy fight coming out from leftovers. The team gets split. Oh, Two Cherio. players. Oh, Cherio. Moex. I think if he got a crit there, actually would have made a alternative. Look at the damage. Oh, Carino turned it around. Arco falls and leftovers in full control of the game actually have a very sloppy fight as the team splits up. Two players uh, tanking a lot of tower damage, honestly. Not just tower damage, but free autos from Moex. They just stood in their way, took the poke. Don't forget, Golden Bro's going to hit all of them if they grouped up like that. And they were all trying to group for the conviction coming out from Badger, which is late. Moex might catch this. Not today. He tried. He tried. One, two, and three has uh, Asi online. Actually, a lot of attacks. I mean, Badger, though. Uh, see this mid lane here. Badger going to find Carino. Separate. Going to be popped, and he'll just uh, make sure to stay healthy. Tier one could be taken by Moex, but he's going to think better of it. Uh, as Raijin comes back to lane. Raijin on his way back. Play damage, 24,000. Just under 25,000 for Carino now. A whole 10,000 ahead of the next highest player in this game. I don't know what it is in Europe. Can, oh, let, let me let me ask you this. Why why does no one in Europe buy magical defense? I don't know. Uh, can I ask you a question? Why does no one in North America win? We actually have the same number of wins as Europe. Like, that's how recently, it works out. Recently, we're not season one anymore, boy. We're not season one anymore. You had one team this year that this plays year. like a North American team. Yeah, 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 okay. You Whatever. got one. Whatever. You got one. Whatever. Only need one. You had one. You had Cloud9. You don't even have them now. They're washed up. Carino, top damage by 10,000, almost doubling anyone else, but no magical defense for leftovers. And I think a lot of that, uh, you, you can see, that's why Torpedo managing to hang in as uh, Bobat actually dove that tier two tower. Takes one stellar burst. It's like half his life. Both these teams need to take a step back now. Leftovers need to be realizing that they can't commit like they did, but Torpedo need to realize they should be trying to go aggressive again in that engagement. That worked out well for them. I mean, they've Carino been and forcing are doing a lot of damage. Murder has actually been the one to force most engagements, but it's fine. I mean, Leftovers are baiting it, to be fair. And look at that stellar burst. Nika already low, but Badger, Conviction going to be good, healing up teams. And this, this is why you got to worry about poke wars against a Guan Yu. Yep, because Guan Yu will just sit on the back and keep healing. Still got meditation there as well. Now Murder, Murder walking forward. He keeps hitting and getting hit, though, to stop him from being able to blink in. Game on a... Oh, oh Cherio, that was not very nice. Oh, my word. That wasn't even Soul Reaver. Nope. That's the power of right. So, you remember when I was talking about magical defense? Well, they'll find out about it if Cherio hits him again. Carino under pressure here, has to disapparate. Lost over half his health. Pulled in, though, is Cherio, as well as hit with the Supernova. Crashes away to safety, though, and the heals come out with Meditation, Conviction combo. Everybody on Leftovers is still full health. Three ultimates already down for Torpedo. Leftovers doing a fantastic job of baiting the fights. 
and then resetting, allowing Guan Yu to heal up, and I think Torpedo recognized that they're not going to be able to fight into this one. Leftovers, third Gold Fury in the game. Actually, is that the fourth? That's the fourth one they've yep. secured. Four, four Gold Furies in a row, wow. and the Gold Lead isn't as big as you'd expect, which shows how well Torpedo's doing to keep themselves in this one, but they're losing this War of Attrition, and when I say it's a War of Attrition, it's because of Guan Yu's healing. They, they are so confident in this game, Leftovers. Can Left you just see the healing start, charts out of interest? Leftovers is actually... <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's more. That's almost as much damage like as what, a top player. That's like what you see in like a 40-minute game. You're like, oh, okay, 26,000. All right, that's really good. Uh, oh, mid lane, though. Going to hit onto Badger, but they're not going to go oh. for anything. Cherry who actually blows his ult there. A little bit of miscommunication. I think he was worried about getting hit by the Shockwave. That, oh, that's anything. true as well. He didn't have Purification up, so he pops that to avoid the Shockwave in case he gets pulled in. I think it was a smart play by Cherry. Uh, the team now groups back up in the mid lane. Three players from both squads. You can see uh, the Game Hunter over on the side. And uh, the team looking to fight. It's, so like I said, it's actually been Leftovers uh, baiting Torpedo to fight. Mm -hmm. And Torpedo have taken it every time. They haven't been caught out. They've actually forced the engagement with Murder blinking and ulting. I, I really feel like Torpedo need to take the step back and realize that every time that happens, they lose the gold theory because Leftovers just reset the fight, use Guan Yu. I honestly think that Leftovers, we might start seeing some Guan Yu target bans away from them. Now, I like the comp that Torpedo's done, but the, there's one issue with it. And when you watch the team fights, you can see what it is. They've got Solon and her that want to sit on the backside. They've got Geb that will initiate and then sit on the backside to protect again. They've got a Wheelix that will also be sitting on the backside waiting to pull in after Geb gets the shockwave off. And that just leaves Game Hunter isolated alone on the front lines trying to keep the team off as the rest of the team are all focused in a group at the back. And he has not built to do that, right? He's gone into the Midgardian mail, which I think is very effective, but then into the wing plate and then into Chins. Now he's starting to build Urchin, but he has a very limited magical protection, not that much physical protection as well. And I think the big key here is Bobak just needs to stop going for the ultimate and go for the back line. If he jumps in with Game Hunter to the back line, there's a better divide on the composition of Torpedo for these team fights to, you know, be able to get to Cherio, be able to get to Arkill and stop them getting free reign of damage off of the back. The problem with Ninja Bobat, though, is that he also uh, doesn't have that much damage. He has Jotuns and Boots, which, while effective early and, and mid-game, coming into the late game, he's not going to be able to find... He doesn't have that burst to lock down these carries, and they're just going to turn around him. He's going to have a little bit more survivability, so he can't get one shot, but he also can't kill these players in the back line. But that's why Wheelix is built for this game. He's built for being on the back... being on the Sorry, on the back with the two carries and setting them up for kills. Engagement onto Game Hunter. As Nika ults, Game Hunter responds immediately. Will we have a channel by our kill then? Not fired, however, as the knockup hits Badger. Not going to get pulled by Bobat this time round, though, as the Ward War in the jungle starts. Leftovers unable to successfully siege this tier two in right lane. The last time they came well, here, they're going to try it again. Going to try again, and hey, man, now they're a little bit further ahead. They got a 7,000 gold lead instead of, I think, a four or 5,000. Just keep they an eye on Murder. Last if, if Murder doesn't get the combat, he'll look for the blink, he'll look for the cataclysm. He's done it every single time. And it's not been in their favor. Not really. And the big thing is, they've always hit Badger. Badger's done a good job of getting hit by the knockout, which has forced the jungler to ult him and not his teammates, because it's not that easy to pick the target you want. Disapparate goes, sorry, Disapparate. Stella Burst goes off and hits onto Badger, but he's not too worried about it. Nika, very tanky too on this front line. These two front liners could tank for days here. Cheeky little play from Boba, though, looking for Cherry around the corner. I, I like this decision. There it is. Murder. He's going to find three once again. Badger Every once again pulled under tower. He's actually going to be able to turn it around, looking for the ult. He's going to get away, but he's caught alone. Honestly, he's this fine. could go in favor. There's Curse. He's going to be chased shell. down. There's the shell, and there comes the peel. Holding meditation for the very last second until the Curse wears off his smart. Now he can heal up his team of conviction. Still. Now he uses the meditation. Every single ult burnt by Torpedo. We've seen this story before. Now it's Bobat caught out. He's going to Sanctuary and try and get away, but there's a Relic in Leftovers. I've seen this from them since I, relegation. I, teams have not done their research against them. They are allowing teams to fight into their play style. They just bait reset with Guan Yu every single time. And the, but the fight has been identical. Murder blinks in, gets the knock up on Guan Yu. Guan Yu gets pulled. Guan Yu hits Cavalry Charge. Torpedo get poked out in the end. The only mistake last time I was left of was hung around. There was two players that dove into the back of the tower, uh, tanking not only tower shots, but also soul as well. That's one of the reasons she's top of the damage. 30, almost 34,000 damage. You can see Cherio. The chipping away at the tower. China's best, but nowhere close at 18. Chipping away at the tower. They just do with Nika just walking forward here and taking the brunt of the initial damage. He's got his ultimate available, so he could get himself away from danger from these two. Murder on the front side there. Nika actually went in there. Cherio gets some good poke damage off Ooh, and forces wow. out the team of Torpedo. And with that, they'll leave with the golden pan. You can see uh, 
with such a long extended siege, Torpedo were able to get their ultimates back up a couple of the players, yep. but not in time to defend the tower. And leftovers, I mean, they are the siegers of the SPL, right? Uh, They're yeah, just like, we bait the fight, we reset the fight, we heal up, and then we force it because you burned all your ults and we didn't. And then I expect game two, if Torpedo lose this game, as the way this has been played out time and time again, I expect them to now. But if this goes to game I, two, I expect a Guamban. That's I'm really surprised that teams haven't figured this out. By Can we now. see play Halen again? I just want to see. It was 26,000 last time. <laughs> 30, 32,000. 32. <laughs> it's more than any player on his team has dealt damage. By a lot. Arkill picks off Carino in the mid lane with the help of Nika and Badger there as well. Combining nicely as they were trying to pressure the tier one time mid lane torpedo. Now in a 4v5 with a Fijan available. That's my boy Badger. See that item? Runic Shield. Reducing magical power and attack speed from all in an aura, and he has been the front line. He's actually been pulled into the team, which means Bobat is actually helping out leftovers by pulling that aura into his auto attackers. It's surprising as well because Carino, of all people, is the only magical, but he's respecting the magical damage. No, it's just the attack speed. Murder's There's just players who got the knock up onto jungler. Fire Giant still being done. Game Hunter's here, though. Can Game Hunter find a good steal? He's got his ultimate available. Cherio, though, versus Ninja Bobat. The drums of war are here, and Cherio will claim a life soloed by Cherries. Uh, right hand side, murder caught between three. Badger on the horse will finish him off. Jungler's going to take someone to the sky. He's going to be landing down. I believe that's Game Hunter on full retreat. Books as well being chased by Cherio. There Still goes going. the Thunder Crash. Looking for it. <laughs> Sanctuary a little bit too late from Moex. Uh, looking for the last audio. Cherio soloed another player. It's only 160 ping. Only 160 pings working out. Game Hunter, though, leading Badger on a merry goose chase around the jungle. The rest of the team, though, going to push onto mid, looking for the Phoenix. Carino only here to defend, and uh, Raijin might find his first win. Raijin will find his win. I can't see him not finding his first win. Now, Raijin, this is a very good performance. This is this is game over. Uh, leftovers continue to impress me. Torpedo, they're going to fall once again. Them and Hungry for more. Two of the teams that, coming into the split, we thought would have... Uh, a battle for kind of like fourth. That, that fourth, fifth, maybe sixth place. Like these were going to be the middle of the road teams that yep. have a chance at challenging. Yep. Um, I think the top three that we've seen so far I, I in Look at DreamHack. One, two, three would be probably be the three from Worlds. And then we would have expected Hungry for More and Leftovers. Sorry, Hungry for More and Torpedo to be there. Not Leftovers. It's, it's leftovers, leftovers and Cringe that are looking real good right now. Really Dignitas yeah. also, we've only seen one game from them, but uh, successfully able to find a win versus Fnatic. so close right now. All I know is, Par is Pantera Paradigm 1 and 2. And it's anybody's game from there. Anybody's game. Uh, really solid showing coming up from Leftovers. Still the same single game plan in my mind. Has not been figured out by the rest of Europe. Uh, we'll have to see if they can counter it. I really want to see a Guan Band though. Badger, I don't I know how much heal he had finished with. About 30 plus, 30,000 We plus. saw 32,000. Well, let's go back to First Blood at the beginning of the game. And it went over to Badger, who, let's be fair, had a great performance on his Guan Yu. I'm expecting a ban to this this game. It or has to be. taken away. It One has to be. Uh, First Blood Murder getting a little bit caught out there trying to steal the red buff mm -hmm. uh, with Ninja Bobat. Unsuccessful, though, as Badger and the rest of the boys figure it out. Well, we got a celebration today. Guess what? It's April Fool's Day, but it's not a joke. Raijin actually got a win. So we can actually look at some plays of Raijin. How exciting. Uh, Cherio continues to impress on this guy. Those blind Soloed. Fires. Soloed. Oh, what a late Well, actually, that wasn't a solo. I'm just going to clear that one up. That nah, was not a solo. There's a World Weaver that was followed off previously nah, to that one. Him. He was not soloed. Uh, really good plays coming out from Cherio. Uh, more importantly for me was kind of his use between the taunt mm -hmm. and just the, the bonus the damage, damage yep. uh, portion of Tycho Drums. We saw a lot of times when the CC was there, when he knew players did not have their leaps or escapes available, just spam the max damage. When they did have some option, we saw the taunts coming in, especially mm -hmm. in that early fight at the red buff when they invaded it, successfully able to taunt in both murder, and I think it was Moex, maybe someone else, maybe Bobat. Let's uh, get to